Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership, three string, cigar box guitar, yeah, 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 magic bus by the Who. This is really, really a cool song. The Live at Leeds version is especially cool. Uh, you need to get some sticks for it, and right? So uh, this is how uh, we play this, and then we'll break down what we got. <laughs> That's the whole song. It, it really is a really, really fun, beginner-friendly song. But what do we got? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are the gauges. They're wound and they're electric. That's my tone. And I'll show you I'm playing through my Roland Cube, my Micro, my Mini Cube, I guess they call it. And I'll show you that. It's the same as I use for my other videos. I just roll off the volume a little bit. And we'll explain that a little bit in this video. But that's what my uh, three-string cigar box guitar sounds like. And at the nut, we're G, open G, G sharp, A, important chord. B e flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G at the two dots. So this song has three chords in it in its entirety. A, that's a, a bar at the second fret, open, and this D shape, which is A, right here, second fret, G string, D, open, and A, second fret here. And this song has a very acoustic-y sound to it. And that's what I want to keep, is that acoustic-y sound to it. And that's basically the whole song right there. There are a lot of things you can do with these, these three shapes that make it really fun, because it's not about the chord changes, it's about the rhythm here. That's the kind of Pete Townshendy who ish rhythm that they tend to do a lot. Pete does this. It's very Bo Diddley. It's uh, very blues based. Bop, 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 bop. So, let me just drop my pick, but uh, that's all cool. We can use fingers too. So, it's a very Bo Diddley-ish style. And so I want you to kind of feel this. This, we're going to do a little left hand muting here. We're going to press down and release. And if you notice, you can see my finger here. Press down, release, press down, release. But I'm not letting go. I'm just releasing the pressure a little bit. So down, up, down, up, and you can see my finger move, my hand and my arm at the same time. And you'll notice that when you start doing this, it's a whole body thing. Your whole shoulder is working in, in effect here. So I'm pressing down, and then I can strum nothing. So. and I immediately stop it. So, that's a really good practice tool right there. Bop, 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 bop. And if you notice, I also kind of turn my finger a little bit. 
Sometimes I do it that way, sometimes I just press. It, you know, it all depends on what mood I'm in and actually what song I'm playing. It really does depend on that. And you're going to find that out yourself, whatever song you're doing. Your fingers make different motions, you know, and, and as you get better at this. So, in the beginning, I did a little C with my pinky to A. And that's in the live at Leeds, they do a lot of this. And I don't want you to hop. Get your finger in a place, your thumb, I'm sorry, get your thumb in a place where you can reach all of these notes here. Then hold that. Okay, so if your thumb is here to get all those notes, that's great. But that's where always you're going to hit that A because you're able to... Right? You don't want to slide your thumb to make anything happen. Okay? You want to stretch. So get that stretching down. And if you have to, learn to stretch by holding your fingers down throughout that process. And you'll get better at this little practice tool and do that a lot until you're 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 looking like so with your first finger second fret second finger third fret fourth finger on that B bar fourth fret and then C with your pinky and what I'm doing is just pulling just giving it a little pull So that's all I'm doing, is giving it a little pull. The chords, remember, A, G, and D. as much as you like. Come up to here, to this D if you want. And so what I have for tone right now, so I'll show you on this uh, cube. And so this is what I have for tone. So you can see where the gain is, and you can see I'm on that Brit combo, which I believe is a Vox. It's a Vox emulator. And so what I've also done is I've rolled back my volume. And with high, with high current pickups, okay, this is a lace underneath here. It's really hot, it's a hot pickup. And so when I turn it up, you get that distortion. roll off the volume about a quarter or a third I do get rid of some of that heat and I end up with a nice acoustic tone and if I roll off a bit more it's even more acoustic back up. You can hear that, that distortion coming in again. Roll it off a little bit. Using your volume and tone knobs are really important as a intermediate guitar player. You're starting to learn how to play with volume and, you know, volume and tone. 
and it starts these little subtle nuance things where you can just roll off a little bit, you can pick patterns a little bit, play clean, and then turn it back up and, and hit it harder with some distortion. It really adds some dynamics to your playing, some up and down, which is really, really nice as a guitar player, especially playing with others. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership, Magic Bus, very cool song, three chords, really really killer tune you can play along with the live at leads it is in a so what do we got i have a paypal link down below in the show notes it's a paypal.me forward slash uncle mark tips thank you so much for all you donators really thank you so much you've all been way way too kind thank you so much for everything sharing on social media, Facebook, all of these groups. Thanks for sharing my content and other stuff I put on. A buck a show is all we ask. And my Facebook.com is CigarBXBlue, or you can just look me up at Mark Piper. You can find me there. Um, I toggle back and forth. It's really nice, though, because I can post things on there that I won't be putting here on YouTube many things that I, I'm practicing or working on or working through and you get to see more of that process because that's that's where I place that stuff so thank you so much for everything you've done for me and uh, we'll see you again <laughs>